Bob Stewart's the man who developed the pyramid. He used to work for Goodson Todman, the premier game show people in the world. He had a hand in the developing of the Price is Right. I've got a secret and a handful of giant successes that made Mark Goodson and Bill Todman multimillionaires. Finally decided to go on his own. One of the first shows he did was Pyramid. I had, uh, ABC by then had given me permission to do other things other than the bandstand. I auditioned for a game show host and the guy said, we want you to act like so-and-so. And I said, I can't do that. I gotta do me, hire so-and-so. They did, and he got that job for two years. I then next, then the second audition was for Pyramid. Got the job, and it was a very frenetic, exciting game, and I'm just sort of calmly walking through, quietly conducting and so forth. But I learned something really good along the way. Bob Stewart is one, of, some of the brightest people in the world are in this very, very lowly held thing of game shows. Really smart people, amongst the smartest. The medium itself is held in the lowest regard. It's the game show. Pearly teeth, have a nice smile, you can be a host. Got five, everybody in the world writes a game show or songs. Anyway, Stuart, brilliant man. One day I made a suggestion. We had the worst, awfulest fight. He chewed me out. I drove me to the point of tears. And I just would come to the dressing room and said, Bob, I do produce things. I don't, want to, I don't want to produce this show. I am your employee. You just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it to the best of my ability. I never encroach upon you. I'm your employee. Understand that. I know that. You apparently think I want your job. I don't want your job. We became the closest of friends, and toward the end of that run, the thing stayed on for years, 15, 16 years. At the end, he'd come to me and say, what do you think we ought to do? And he, we were comfortable with each other, but it's a key you gotta learn when you're, you're growing up. Are you the boss? Are you the employee? Are you looking to get the guy's job? He was concerned about it. His own paranoia took over, and I, I was just trying to do my job, saying, wouldn't it be better if we did it? Whoop, wrong move. 